Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy, Hype Pokey Pete, and in today's video, let me just come out and just say it. It is a very long video. Uh, it's literally 20 minutes of Disney trip, uh, of finding cards, uh, a lot of, some, not a lot, some montages, petting some animals, some roller coasters on 4D rides. It's a lot all in one, all right? It is a lot all in one, but we did end up finding cards at Disney. I will put some timestamps in the video. I think they call it chapters now. I'll put some chapters in the video so you guys can skip through it if you guys want. But if you guys want to see me enjoy my vacation at Disney, you guys are more than welcome to watch. I, I Honestly, I would rather you guys watch the whole thing. But I understand if you guys can. If you guys are busy, want to get on to other things, completely understandable. But... I promise you, it is definitely worth a watch. But yeah, Disney was freaking awesome. I enjoyed every second of it, and we found cards. What can be better than having a great time and then finding cards on top of that? Anyways, guys, that is enough talking from me. If you guys enjoyed the video, just make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you want, but don't forget to subscribe, all right? I will see you guys in the end.
All right, guys, we made it to Epcot, and uh, I heard that in uh, the Japan area of Epcot, there are Pokemon cards. We're gonna go check to see if that is true. Um, we're at, like the entrance right now, but we're about to head in. We're not in the Japan area yet, but yo, this hat is pretty cool, especially if you love group seasons, Grootings. That is pretty cool. I'm gonna look around here for a little bit too. I was hoping that it might be over here, but it doesn't like to have any cards at all. So our best chance is probably at um, the Japan area, but this thing kind of tricked me. I thought this was like the VHS tapes, but turns out it's just like a notebook. So <laughs> let's head over to where the cards are. All right, guys, I think this is the Japan gift shop. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, I don't think we're at the right spot, but we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go a little, further into the park but i think this is just like a regular gift shop here because i don't see anything japan related in here so yeah let's uh let's head back out that way and head to the next all spot. right guys so we didn't find any cars but as you can see we got a little friend here that's him that's my friend his name his name is george we're gonna call him george all right we got our friend george hanging on our shoulder right now uh but yeah let's uh Let's go to wherever we can find some cards. We made it, but uh, I want this. Uh, they're shaved ice here with like condensed milk. It's, uh, I heard it's really good, so uh, let's grab some of these. All right, guys, this is what we're getting right here. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's Japanese shaved ice. We're gonna probably get the cherry one or the melon one. Ooh, they have two flavors. We're gonna add this milk topping too. Dude, this thing is gonna be so good, I can't wait. Uh, but yeah, this line, it's pretty diesel though. I'll let you know when we get home. Man, this looks good though. Look at this thing. Ooh, that looks good. All right, guys, I think this is it right here. This might be the one. We're gonna go in this place, see if they have any cards. Yo, this store is sick. There's gotta be Pokemon cards in here, right? There has to be. We're gonna look around together. I see a Pikachu over here. Let's take a look at this Pikachu. Look at this Pikachu, that thing is huge. Look at this thing. This is my hand. That's the Pikachu. That's a crazy big Pikachu. All right. Uh, where could it be? You know what? I will let you know if I see anything cool or if I see the cards. These shirts are pretty sick looking. Now, I have no idea what they say, but they look pretty cool. This one says firefighters, I think. I mean, it says it right there. <laughs> But uh, yeah, let me look around a little more. Oh, some nice t-shirts over there too. Let's go take a look over there real quick. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like this shirt, this shirt's actually pretty freaking fire right here. These are cool, man. Guys, we, hit it. we see it, we see it, we see it. It is right up here. Let's see how much, like $59 for Fusion Strike, 80 for Celebrations, and some single pack blisters uh, of a bunch of different sets. Oh guys, we might have to get something here. I'll let you guys know what we end up getting. All right guys, so we ended up getting a three pack blister of Fusion Strike. I don't know, listen, I know Fusion Strike's a horrible set to pull right now, but we are in Disney, okay? This has to have an alternate art of some sort in here, right? There's gotta be. There's also, this is George. I think I already introduced it to George, but say hi to George, all right? Uh, say hi to George in the comments, okay? But yeah, we got three pack blister from that so it was $19.95 which is a little expensive but you know what there's some good stuff in there I already know it so we're taking a quick bathroom break right now it's getting definitely uh getting a little darker we are in Epcot now obviously you know that um I think we're heading back to Magic Kingdom to see the lights and stuff at night and then after that I think we're going to head back we might go back to um some more parks tomorrow so Obviously, I'll record that for you guys, too. So I will see you guys when we get back to Magic Kingdom. All right, guys, we made it to Animal Kingdom, as you can see. About to head inside. I know there's not any. I, at least I don't think so. I don't think there's any Pokemon cards here. But we're going to go and we're going to check anyways, I think. Uh, if not, then I'll just show you a bunch of animals and stuff. I think that's pretty fun, too. So uh, I'll let you know when we get inside. As we made it in the gate, uh, it's pretty much a jungle in here. Um, like I said, I doubt there's any cars. We're gonna go check around, uh, see what they have. Hey, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey, man, those birds are quick. All right, we made it. Shout out to my boy Harambe. 
We are at Africa right now. We're gonna head to the Safari Zone, or not Safari Zone. That's how you know I play too much Pokemon. Oh uh, yeah, we're going to the Safari, see some animals. I'll let you know when we get there. All right, guys, we are in line at the Safari, but uh, this line is pretty long. We're waiting for about 45 minutes so far, uh, but we're getting there. We're close. I think I think it's up right over there. We're looping around that way now, so hopefully we get there soon. Pretty, pretty cool. Saw a bunch of animals. Um, but yeah, let's head to the next stop. We made it to some place called Rafiki's um, Petting Spot. Let's go check it out. Turns out that was just a, a restroom. So we're gonna go to the right spot. Made it inside. Looks like we're petting some animals. Let's, uh, let's go pet some goats. We made it to the Avatar ride. I think it's in there somewhere. I think it's just like a 4D ride, not a roller coaster. Uh, but this place looks pretty sick. It was like very, uh, very, very uh, Avatar-y, right? <laughs> so let's uh, head in and see what this is all about. This place is pretty sick, actually. Take a look at this thing. Man, this thing is awesome. I'm wondering what this tree feels like. Can I touch this thing? Dude, my arms are way too short to touch that thing. Well. I'm just gonna assume it's spiky. The view is pretty sick. Take a look at this thing. You see the water down here and everything. Man, this thing is nice. Look at this view. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Made it inside some cave, but uh, looks like we're still waiting a bit in here. So uh, hopefully we uh, get to go on this ride soon. It's finally our turn. Let's go.
All right, so we just got out. That was uh, kind of crazy. Definitely uh, one of the better 4D rides out there, but not really sure where we're going to now though. We'll, we'll go somewhere. What's going on guys? It is the next day. We're at some place called Disney Springs. Uh, I don't think there's Pokemon cars in here, but you never know. I'm gonna record just in case there is, but we're about to enter uh, World of Disney right now. And then, uh, yeah, right here. World of you guys, you guys can probably see that. It's apparently the biggest Disney store in America. So let's go in, see what they have inside. This store is definitely, definitely the biggest store, uh, Disney store. But uh, I will probably do like a little montage or something for you guys. guys it is safe to say they don't have any cards just i mean i, I kind of already thought that but i was like, you know what we're gonna try it anyways yeah let's go ahead and head out to another store i don't know if any places around here has cards but like i said we're gonna go check anyways yo this gas station is huge take a look at this gas station it's called bucky's it's somewhere in like northern florida but bruh this thing is huge. The inside store is like right here, but it is gigantic. We're gonna go in, take a look. I highly doubt they have cards. We're gonna go check it out anyways. All the selection of ice that you want here. Why why do you why do you need so much ice? Let's go in. Dang, this place is huge. Look at this place. Holy crap, it's like a freaking amusement park on here. Oh my god, this is insane, you crazy, yo. this place is huge, bunch of sandwiches over here, some cashews and a bunch of, holy crap, uh, it's kind of overwhelming in here, holy crap guys, got some barbecue tacos, uh, bakery, dipping dots, roasted nuts, fudge, sandwiches, look at all these, oh yo, that looks amazing whatever the heck that is that looks so good i think we're gonna try to get something we're trying to go we're gonna try to get something here all this candy right here we've got some dried fruits trail mix a huge selection of nuts big paws jerky beer import beer wine soda dog they got everything a bunch of beef jerky right here i think they have like a beef jerky wall i saw it's like on the other side but we're gonna we're gonna head over there as well this is that big gigantic beef jerky wall that i was talking about any kind of beef jerky you want i promise you will find it on this wall right here there's people standing over here so i don't want to invade their privacy but sweet and spicy we got uh cherry maple and then we got lemon pepper, ghost pepper. Like, listen, they got everything here. So this is crazy. I might grab something. So far, we got two sandwiches, some chips. So far, we might get a cheesesteak too, though. But let's go over here really quick. What else do they have? Teriyaki beef, more teriyaki, some garlic beef jerky. That sounds pretty good too, actually. Yeah. We might grab something here. We'll see. So far, we got the two sandwiches and some chips. Bruh, 49 cents from any size. Look how look how big this thing is, bro. This is 49 cents. What in the world? I'm going to get one. It was actually 79 cents. 49 cents for a thing of ice. But still, 79 cents for this huge thing right here. You got to know. I'm definitely gonna grab this up. I hope you guys enjoyed that vlog slash hunt slash bonus clip, roller coaster ride, all of that. It was a great time and I just had to share it with you guys. But this is what we got. 
just this single three pack blister of fusion strike from Epcot here. Uh, it got a little damaged uh, on the way back, but you know what? It is still here and we're still gonna open it. And uh, I just, some something good has to be in here, right? Just, just because we got it from Disney, you know, where magic happens and whatnot. So, you know, it, it has to be something good, right? So here is the code card for you guys. But yeah, it has to be something good. Like, I, I refuse to believe that we're not going to get anything from this because I know we are. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into the first pack. You know, we're looking to get that Gengar. Hopefully we get that Gengar, but we'll see. We'll see. One thing. Oh, wait. Oh, this is a good card. I forgot to do the spin that loan since I've opened packs. I forgot to, to not do the card trick because it gives it away. All right. Anyway, we're going to roll with it because I think it was a good code card. So here we go. Pangora. We got Grappalock, Diggersby, Gligar, Qfans, Qfon, Slugma, Skitty, Phalanx, Swampert. And let's take a look at the top. Ooh, it is just a regular V. It is a Cinderace V. Hey, that is not bad. That is just one out of the two Cinderaces that are in this set. There's a, I think there's there's two of them in this set. Yes, two of them in this set. Here we go. Let me show the guys the code card last. And four from the front, from the back, and it goes to the front. We have an Energy, Sydney. We have a Cross Switcher, Croconaw, Choodle. A Vullaby, a Dewpiter, Meowth, Onyx, another one of these guys, and a Toxtricity Hollow. So that's two good code cards in a row. Here is the code card, by the way. Go ahead and take that. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Last pack right here. Listen, the this three pack blister wasn't bad. I mean, we got a nice Cinderace, and then we got another Hollow right here. So that's not horrible code card i will show you after if i remember here we go we have a energy card obviously i don't know why i always say that in suspense like it's not an energy card <laughs> well am i expecting another random card or something i don't know but i'm like we have a obviously it's an energy card it's always an energy card <laughs> pan sage sizzlepeed and nope. a latias all right so listen we didn't do too bad out of those uh, three packs, we got a Cinderace and a Toxtricity. Toxtricity is a hollow, hollow and just a, you know, like a little nice art of Cinderace Vs, which isn't bad at all. That's technically two hits out of the three, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Anyway, got anyways, guys, uh, you can tell I'm still hyper right now. I just had a coffee earlier. Don't have coffee at 3 a.m., okay? Because you're not going to sleep. I'm telling you that right now. That's advice from me to you. Don't have coffee at 3 a.m. or else you will not sleep. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you want, but don't forget to subscribe. Peace.